In this tutorial, I will teach you how to make your microphone from sounding like this to sounding like this. What's up everyone, Yali here with the video nerd and welcome to this live effects tutorial. Now a lot of people want to have a nice voice on stream and having a nice microphone is one thing but having live audio effects being applied to your audio makes a really big difference. I already made a tutorial on adding live effects with Streamlabs OBS, but that's not the same thing as we will be doing right here. In that tutorial, I did things like removing background noise or adding a noise gate to remove a keyboard sound. In this tutorial, we will be adding voice effects and that's a different thing. Setting this up actually really isn't that difficult and we will be using two programs. The first one is voice meter and the second one is virtual cable. Now, how will this thing work? Well, voice meter is where all your live effects are applied. So usually your audio goes into your microphone, to your computer, and then to Streamlabs OBS or whatever program you're using. After setting this up, your audio will go into your microphone, to your computer, then to voice meter where all the effects are applied, and then to Streamlabs OBS. Now there is one problem and that is that in Streamlabs OBS you cannot select a program as your audio input so we cannot connect voice meter to Streamlabs OBS and this is where virtual cable comes in. Virtual cable is, as the name says, a virtual cable that will connect voice meter to Streamlabs OBS and that will solve our problem. So in the description I will put a download link, but right here you see I'm on the website to download voice meter. Let's scroll down, click on download and then open the zip package and install this right here. Okay, let's close it. When this is done, right here you can click on the first step to go to the virtual cable download and then click on download right here. Now. Installing this is a bit more complicated. Let's open the zip package and right here you have a bunch of files and now you have to click on setup or setup 64 if your PC is 64 bits. To check if your system is 32 or 64 bits, right click on your windows icon and go to system and there you will see if your system is 32 or 64 bits. For me it's 64, so I have to install this one right here. When both are installed, it's important to restart your system or virtual cable will not work. So after you restart it, open voice meter, okay. I created a preset that you can download and import right here, so that makes it a lot quicker. I will add a download link to the preset in the description, so go ahead, download it, and then in voice meter, click on menu, then on load settings, and then search for the file. I saved it to my desktop, so right here the video nerd template, double click it, and then it will just be imported, and all the settings are correct. Now the next thing to do is selecting our input and our output. As our input, we need to select our microphone, which for me is this right here, it's an audio interface. So I will just click this right here and you can see that my microphone is working. Then to select your output, click on the first button A1 right here and then you need to select cable input audio virtual cable. So now our audio with our effects is sent to the input of this cable. Now we need to open Streamlabs OBS and add the cable output as our microphone source. So I will show you how to do that. When you are in your streaming program, go to your settings, probably to audio, and then right here in Streamlabs OBS, it's mic auxiliary device one, maybe for you it's something else, but where you have to select your microphone, you open these settings and you select cable output audio virtual cable. Click on done and now right here you can see that the cable output is working. So my voice goes into my computer, then it goes to voice meter, there the effects are applied and then it gets sent through the cable to my Streamlabs OBS program and right here you can see that it's working. 
If you want to change the effect a bit, you can go to voice meter and right here, this square, you can just drag this around to change the effect to make it stronger or less strong, etc. But just play around with this. Also with the volume, if you want, you can test it out what works best for you. And if growing your stream and building your online presence is something that you're interested in, make sure you click the subscribe button because this channel is just perfect for you. I will add a link to my other audio tutorial for Streamlabs OBS because it's a great addition to these effects. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments, like the video if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Have a good day.